Okay, we're here at Pisa. It's not Pisa, Italy. It's Pisa, Peru. So here you go. Templo Agricultura. Templo Templo Agricultura. Right there, my driver, Carlo, from Peru. Yeah, I'm giving you the 360 of the Pisa, not Italy, but Pisa, Peru. Nice, huh? So what is this for? This is the terraces. Yeah, it's like rice terraces, yeah, like in the Philippines? For crop the potatoes. The oh yeah, we do the same thing, but with rice. The Inca foods. Uh -huh. yeah. So what is that top, on top of there? What is that? Uh, that the housing? The second, the second neighborhood. The second Inca neighborhood. Up here. That's where they live, and then this is where yeah, they plant? The farmer people. Okay. Here, the military here. The military, over there, right here. Over there, you see on the top? Uh-huh. You see there? You see there? This on is the lower neighborhood. There was the food houses. So that's another rice there, uh, like like um, planting stuff. Yeah, this terrace has different microclimates. Uh -huh. The temperature changes. Uh -huh. And then that's the cemetery. The same people who plant stuff. Yeah, that's where they pull them. The like in the uh, cave. Yeah, everybody the Incas mummification, oh. and the one whole one person. It's always the Incas you the, the fetal position uh -huh. the bodies, you know. So the Incas for mummification using the, you know the paper mint? Mm -hmm. The paper, uh, Andean paper mint using for preserving the bodies. Mm -hmm. So the people open the billy, and mm -hmm. then the billy found the organ. So the Incas don't take out. So the Incas cleaning the organ, put the muñe. This work, they dry the organ. Everybody oh. the Incas. Why the Incas mummification? Because the Inca thing in the afterlife, by the reborn. By oh. the reason everybody, like this, in the fetal position. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. This is the big side, you know, very big side. Mm -hmm.